on the stage, please make a lot of noise for Corey Miller. I don't know that song, but I will clarify. Corey, last name's Miller, and I would like my first card, please. <laughs> All right, Corey, your first card says, justify a stupid racist thoughts. Yeah, I don't know if I should touch this or not, man. No, justify no. a racist thought. Like, I hate that. Stu uh, stupid racist. Like, I, stupid racist thoughts. Like, I'm the most prejudiced against Amish people, so I think that's really stupid. But fuck all of them. I'm not going to justify it because they fucking suck ass. <laughs> fuck Amish people. Next card, please. Thank you, Corey, for working on that. <laughs> Hot take. Uh, this one says blaze orange hats. Blaze orange hats. Like the one Kyle's wearing? Like what, if you're wearing one of those, you're either one of three things. A hipster, a warehouse worker, or a fucking dumbass. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. Blazing orange hat. That's just like screams douchebag. That's my hot take on the blaze orange hat. That's what no, I'm I agree. If you're wearing one of those inside. Kyle, listen up. Kyle, take notes. Take that fucking hat off, dude. You're not a shore. Yeah, that, maybe he looks like a really shitty youth pastor. He looks like he just got off the Navy boat. <laughs> <laughs> he does. Yeah. All right, Corey, uh, what's the first thing you're doing with $1 million? Definitely, I'm going to, let's see here. I had like a whole list of if I won the lottery. I actually got fired from my job four days before the Mega Millions went off. So my goal was to win the Mega Millions and then fire everyone I like at Unify. But I didn't win, I only won $20 and I tried to buy the company with 20, but they laughed me on the boat. But anyways, first thing I'm doing, I'm probably gonna, probably gonna buy myself a real nice like, pair of jeans that actually fit. Because my jeans never fit. Like, I wanna get custom made jeans, because I have, I have the ass of a lunch lady. And every time I take a step forward, if I have a belt on, or if they're duct taped to me, they fall down. So I'm gonna buy a nice pair of jeans that actually fit. You got million dollar pants. Right? Million dollar pants. For million dollar legs. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> next card, please. Corey, your next card says motorhomes. Big fan of motorhomes. I actually looked at a uh, a tour bus recently to actually move into a bridge down by the river. I'm not making this up. This is a legit thing that happened, and the reason I didn't buy it was we couldn't get the fucking thing started. We were in West Virginia for seven hours, and I don't like being in West Virginia when the sun goes down because a lot of weird shit goes down. So I just ended up taking, cutting my losses and went home. It's a big fan of motorhomes. You couldn't get the motorhome started? No, it, needed, it didn't have like- Would that just make it a home? Yeah, <laughs> I guess so. Like, I don't know what the fuck they were doing with it. Can motorhomes break out? Apparently they were in a bluegrass band in the 90s. It's a pretty sweet motorhome. Fuck yeah, dude. All right. Uh, your next card says, what was the most regrettable purchase? PS5, because I got a job where I don't make any fucking money, so I got to work 90 hours a week, so I don't get to play it anymore. PS5, definitely my biggest regret, because I'm like, I'm 30, and it doesn't look good when your most expensive thing in the house is a fucking gaming console. It's like, oh, look, he's fat and retarded, and he had fucking video games. Like, I just, like, I just, like, spray women off with, like, a repellent, I guess. Just being myself. I could have got a couch. <laughs> I could have got a couch, but I got a PS5 and some lawn chairs. You could have got pants. Yeah, I could have got pants. A real nice sort of pair of pants. Hey, Corey, if you died, what don't you want your mom to find in your house? Well, my mom's already dead, so. Well, all right. <laughs> Good luck with that one, Lori. <laughs> Who's laughing at my mom being dead? You guys are pieces of shit. What don't you want your dad to find in your house? My dad, who gives a shit? But he, he, he would, uh, let's see here. I got a lot of weird shit in my house because I'm a man child. And I'm probably like, I feel like he would be shamed if he knew how many of those marble statues I actually own. Like, I own like 50 of those fucking things, and he'd just be like, yeah. Fucking retard. I'm gonna sell all these. Let's hope I don't die. Is your dad hotter than you? What if he found your girlfriend? Who's my girlfriend, Sonny? Aw. That's what I thought, pussy. Yeah. <laughs> Way to make it awkward. Yeah. <laughs> your mom will find like 800 dildos that the batteries ran out of. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Get up here, let's roast each other. Yeah, roast her again. We were gonna roast each other, but John Monte gotta knock me out of the first round. It was bullshit. Do another one of your roast shows. Go ahead. What? 
No Russia. For Sonny? Yeah, Sonny's got that. Later, I'll have her yeah, Sonny's got that weird sexual energy, like an April O'Neil. She had Down syndrome. Yeah, right. yeah, thank you. Okay. Right. I'm gonna go and do it. All right, stop. What's your weirdest kink? Weirdest kink? I don't know. I have this weird thing where I like seeing like chicks like shoulders. Like I like a chick that works out, which makes no sense because I don't work out. In case you guys didn't notice, but like a chick that's got like jacked up shoulders, it's like she definitely is not gonna know where to eat at because she's always smoking a little bit, like stroking her shoulders. That's why they're so fucking big. So your shoulders. I like shoulders. Man. I'm a shoulder guy. You guys like? We need to get better representation than me. Like I need like Clint Eastwood to come out and be like, I'm a soldier's guy. <laughs> it's not good when I'm the only soldier's guy in the room. Next card, please. I don't want to respond to that. Um, this card says, was 2022 a good or a shitty year and why? It was kind of a shitty year, I'm not going to lie. I lost my job and they uh, tried to demote me, wouldn't tell me what the fuck I did. So I just walked out because I'm an adult and I don't take bullshit like that. But other than that, like I probably put on like 70 pounds because I don't work out and I was unemployed for two months. So it was kind of a shitty year, but things are looking up. I work at Domino's now. Yeah. <laughs> Someone else will pop Domino's. All right, last card. This card says, uh, worst Thanksgiving. Worst Thanksgiving ever. I went to a buddy of mine, and if he sees this, he's going to fucking kill me. Because I told him it wasn't awkward. Because I, I walked in, and they didn't know I was there. And there was like probably like 20 people in like his living room. They're watching football. Him and his fiance are arguing, and all I hear is I walk in and you can't even get me off to begin with. And it was just so uncomfortable the rest of the night. I had to think about my friend Nick like lasting for like two minutes with his fiance. It was horrible, real awkward. But other than that, it was a good Thanksgiving. She's a hell of a cook. <laughs> it's a hell of a cook. Oh man, it was great. It was awesome. So if you guys like this, I am on YouTube. My, uh, <laughs> my name's spelled like a lesbian, it's K-O-R-E-Y Miller. So uh, if you guys wanna, you know, subscribe. My goal is to have more subscribers than I weigh, so I need like 75 more. So thank you. Shannon Field.